right, welcome back to our Chase the Ace career mode. We are, of course, with Olympiakos chasing HJK Helsinki. They, we sit second and third, so it is game on. Hopefully both teams can push through to the Bundesliga by the end of this season, and uh, then we get into the real action where we start playing every game and trying to win the Bundesliga before HJK Helsinki do. But there's a lot of top teams up there in that top flight now, so it's not going to be easy. Uh, no player upgrade. We'll see how we go with getting one done at the end of this episode. We've got a January transfer window to deal with. I'll see if there's anyone worth bringing in but we don't have a lot of money to play with and we probably will need some of that to hopefully try and make some blocks if Helsinki do manage to try and sell off some players so let's jump into it and uh, see where we end up at the end of the season. Alright it is the final scout report back from Brazil two players that uh, you know they're not the highest of uh, overalls but they've got high potential here at the moment so we will bring both of them in. Gabriel Xavier 79 to 94 on right winger and uh, Guermia Alvarez, 76 to 94, only 90 grand, but we'll sign him in as a left winger. Our final scout in uh, Serbia, we've got one player, not the highest of potentials, uh, but only 16 years of age, Bosko Dragovic. Uh, let's get him into the Youth Academy at 150 grand. All right, Romania has five players that I am uh, keeping an eye on here. Uh, Lupu, 79 to 94 at 350 grand. We'll offer him a uh, Youth Academy contract. Radakanu at 230, we will sign in as well. Uh, Cosmosu, 210, but the Youth Academy is full. So let's go and have a look and see what we can clear out. All right, taking a look, and we will offer first team contracts if they are of, uh, you know, decent quality. Uh, Dangbo, 85 to 91, not quite ready, I feel. Palacios, 79 to 93. Lupu, 79 to 94. Morgan Roberts, 90 to 94. America Arnaiz is at 81 to 91. Joel Morgan, the Australian, uh, 65 overall already, 82 to 88. And I'm actually going to offer him a contract to the first team. Uh, Radakanu, 73 to 91. Carvajal, 86 to 94. Eric Becker, 81 to 87, physically strong striker. Ostergaard, 65 overall, 81 to 87. Um, oh, technically gifted, sure, why not? Welcome to the first team. Uh, I generally try and promote the 17 year olds uh, rather than the younger lads because they, you know they do grow a bit quicker in the academy. Dragovic, 71 to 91. Zupan, 87 to 93. Gabriel Xavier, 79 to 94. Uh, Alvarez 76 to 94. Herbert Wolf probably deserves his contract. 66 overall, 89 to 94. 70 reactions now. Let's get him finally into the first team. Uh, and Susak 83 to 89. Playmaker. Uh, we'll hold him just for now. Nah, you know what? He's not good enough. See you later. All right, that should allow us to bring in Cosmosu at 210. Uh, Georgiou, 67 to 91. He's only 15 years of age and 275, so we'll bring him in. And Pavel Sue, 68 to 92, 15 to 20. Okay, it is time to send out for some new scouts, and uh, feel free to leave some comments down below. You guys have been absolutely tremendous leaving me countries, and make sure you're hitting thumbs up. We've got some perfect ones in this uh, setup. We've got one from Racer Jake, who wants Greece for physically strong, some more homegrown talent here for Olympiakos, and it had 49 thumbs up. That is an outstanding effort. Give yourself a pat on the back. If we can get one to 50, that would be absolutely incredible. So uh, if you see a country down there that you think we should be scouting, make sure you punch that thumbs up for me. Uh, so let's head off to Greece for Physically Strong. Next up, we have Lazar Kozmanovic. Hopefully, I haven't killed your name, but he wants the Ivory Coast for an attacker. Looking for the next Didier Drobler. Drobler. Didier Drobler. There we go. There's a new player. 39 thumbs up. That's outstanding. Now, uh, I will let you know, attackers aren't really what you're looking for when you're looking for a striker. They can possibly bring one back, but you're probably going to get a better striker out of physically strong uh, and technically gifted. And even wingers can bring back strikers, and usually they're incredibly pacey. But, yep, we will head off to the Ivory Coast looking for an attacker. And the final scout for this one, we're heading back to Brazil for Islam Terha. 34 thumbs up, we're going for technically gifted, and let's hope we can find the next Cortinho. Okay, so we have been waiting for this. I haven't worried about the real players, but the rule is if we get an offer in for one of our Youth Academy or Regen players, we have to let them go if they make their evaluation. Leverkusen have come in for Gomez Sola for a fee of 13.4 million, so we'll go to the transfer hub and see if that meets his evaluation. Okay, so his market evaluation is 14 million. They haven't come up with that. Um, they have to offer between 17.2 and 25.3 million. So what we will do here is we will uh, delegate and uh, we will say that um, 
we start the offer at 25.3 and don't sell him less than 17.2. If they're willing to pay that kind of money, they are allowed to take him off our hands. Well, we've got an offer in for our Scout Future Star. Here's one lad that we do not have to sell. The board can go ahead and sell him, and that means that it's career mode over. But as for Roldan, he is not allowed to be sold by us personally, so we won't even bother uh, dealing with this uh, the offer from Granada. 3.6 million, you're having a laugh. All right, we've got a bit of an issue here, though, because Moise Keane has been approached by Valencia for 13.9 million. We don't even have enough money to make that block at this stage. And uh, that would be three strikers out of Helsinki this season. I'm pretty sure he's their top goal scorer as well. So uh, that is just frustrating if he does leave, and especially going to Valencia. Um, that's just rubbish. I'll see what I can do about making a block, but I just can't see us getting enough money together here to uh, bring him at least to us or uh, somehow make a block. It's just, it's a bit different uh, this year from how we did it last year because of all this new negotiating and delegating and all this other bullshit that they've added. Um, so we might not even be able to make this block. Let's hope that we can. All right, so Bayer Leverkusen have come with 17.7 million. That means we have to accept the offer, see if they can agree terms for uh, Gomez Soler, and uh, that's probably a big blow because he has been doing some decent work off the bench for us, and we've not got a lot of time to uh, try and bring in uh, another world-class striker just to help it out because we've only really got one striker, uh, and then Roldan, who is still only, I think, at 71. Well, okay, there we go. Hugo Gomez Sola has gone on transfer deadline day. Uh, they've only allocated us 12 million out of the 17.7, .7, so the greedy bastards have taken a few mil for themselves. Uh, I don't even know if we've got enough money to uh, maybe go after a decent player. I'll have to have a quick look around. Okay, so I have made a signing. It is 64 overall Zambo and Guisa. It is the Samuel Eto regen. He's got absolute pace for days, so a little bit of training should be able to help us out. Six foot tall with five star skill moves, and he has the speedster speciality there already. So, uh, uh, you know what? That's probably not a bad play. He's still only 18, and a bit of training, we could turn him into a, uh, a decent force, at least as a backup striker. Okay, so we've lucked out here. I managed to hold Moise Keane off till transfer deadline day. Uh, even though he'd accepted an off with us, we were negotiating uh, low wages, keeping him interested. And then, well, he's just done a complete turnaround and he's headed off to Valencia. So, um, yeah, what are you doing, HJK? Can't even hold a fucking player down. And uh, their strike force, I think, might just be jury now. So, HJK Helsinki have sold off three of their top strikers here this season. And now they have Suleiman and Jury up front. I don't even think Suleiman's a striker. We'll have to have a quick look. Um, Schneider at centre back at the 69. Martinek. Yeah, what are they doing? What are they doing? I hope that they don't just pull the pin and capitulate because uh, they've sold off a lot of their decent talent. And uh, that's a lot of money out, but uh, haven't really brought anyone in. Okay, so the transfer window is done. We only made the one play, and that was to bring in the Eto regen um, to replace the Spaniard that we got rid of. So let's have a look at our academy and see if there's anyone else that can come in at the moment. Uh, Dango, 85 to 91 still. Uh, Palacios has dropped off, so I don't want you even in my academy costing me money. Lupu looks all right. Uh, 60 overall right back, physically strong. Yeah, let's get him in. Uh, what else have we got here? Cosmichu, centre back, five foot eleven. He can hold. Morgan Roberts, uh, Nays, okay. George Hughes dropped as well, so we're going to release him. Radikinu, centre forward, technically gifted. I'll hold him just for now. Uh, Carvajal's okay. Pavis, oh geez, that's terrible. See you later. Uh, Becker, eighty-one to eighty-seven. Another striking option. Dragovic, seventy-one to eighty-seven. We've got a lot of cams, so um, we're going to release him. Zupan, 87 to 93, will hold. Xavier is 79 to 93, and Alvarez, yep, see you later, you're gone as well. So, time to get back into the simulations. There was no action in the January uh, window for games. We start off on the first of Fed here against Palmer. Engels gets himself injured, but it's a 2 1 victory. Right, Beyond Engels has broken his collarbone, he's out for two months. All right, here we go. It is the second round here for Olympiacos and HK Helsinki. We are at home for match day 19 at the Karasiakas Stadium. Uh, I've probably just absolutely murdered the name of this Greek stadium once again. But um, yeah, this should be an interesting game. Uh, I'm actually just going to pause this one so we can see the teams. So we are going to send out our full U team here. Uh, Roldan up front, Consensual, 
Uh, Selesnev, Azevedo through the middle. Marilio and Casado in the midfield. Kazmarek, Guedes, Galano and Larson are across the back and Ludwig is our goalkeeper. Helsinki go with Suleiman and Jury up front. Davies, Edwards, Ford and Vieira. Martinek, Foyth, Pieri, Schneider, and Dragowski is the goalkeeper. So this should be an interesting game. They've got some quality players out there. Foden uh, will be uh, a bit of a handful, and Davies with his pace out on that left-hand side. So, um, yeah, they've changed up the formation by the looks of things a little bit, and uh, pushing on. Let's hope that we can get the victory over them. And, um, well, I think we're on equal points at the moment, so let's do this. Oh, here he is, Foden, straight inside. Ludwig has to make an early save. And HJK Helsinki just trying to press their dominance here very early on. Davies will be the man to deliver into the box. Drives it forward, there's Jury. And Murillo does well. There's Azevedo. And we're just getting a kind of a look at the team that could possibly be coming out once we do reach the uh, Bundesliga. There's a big tackle and Foden taken down. They'll get a free kick. And, Oh, it's all it's all action stations already. And Suleiman is the goal is the man to take this one. Oh, great save from Ludwig. There's Azevedo takes his man on. Let's go, little Azevedo drives his way, but he's going to get run down here by Vieira. Has to cut back inside. Some good footwork, some good skill. Roldan lays it off here for Selznev. Tries to bring it back inside the Russian. Can't do anything with it. Azevedo, he's got Selesnev in support, but Azevedo drives it long. Into the box, here he goes, dry, oh, that is a cross. From Visado, wants to see out, plays it off. There's Roll there. Create, drives it inside, Casado tipped over the top by Dragowski. We'll get a corner, Azevedo to deliver. Drives it forward, here's the header, and it's over the top from Galano. Long ball out wide, wants Kostas out, and he gets it. And he feeds it inside, and he finds Roldan! Oh, he's railed the left-hand crossbar, sidebar, fucking post, whatever you want to fucking call it. Oh, it had some venom, but it just didn't have the trajectory. Good from Azevedo, but there is the whistle, and it's been tight, tough, contested football, and it's nil all at the break. Kostas out, Shado plays it forward, Roldan. Flicks it out wide now for the run of Azevedo. Drives his way forward. Still comes Azevedo. Here's the cross to the back post, and it's a poor one. We have to work on it. Azevedo's crossing if he wants to play out on that wing. All right, let's make a change here. Mike DeWitt checks in for Casado, uh, the Dutch centre midfielder. Let's see if he can create some chances. Oh, Foden with class. Yuri gets inside back to Foden. Good block from Gwenez. We might hit him on a counter here. Here's Concecial, drives his way forward. What's he got left in the tank? Still going, but he might get run down here. Brings it inside, finds Roldan, plays it off. Vieira had it covered. Drives forward, Roldan lays it off. Devitt, oh, good block from Davis. All right, let's make some changes. Zambo Aguisa checks in with Lindqvist. And Sellers never and Concecial check out. We're going to move Roldan back to centre forward and put the young... Uh, Pacey striker up front. We've got a corner now. Linfus to deliver. Drives it inside. Galano dropped in the box. No penalty given. Oh, couldn't thread it through. And this one's looking like it will be. There is the whistle. It's a nil-nil draw. Both teams just going at it, hammer and tongs, but no goals today. Well, both teams had shots 10 to 7. They had the possession, but uh, we defended quite well. And they also defended very, very well. Azevedo gets a man of the match, 7.9. Right, we're back in Brazil. Bruno Fernandes is the only man. I think he was on the last report, but he's uh, popped up again, 67 to 91. We'll monitor his progress. We are in the Ivory Coast. We've got Moussa Sissoko, 5'5", five 67 five, to 89. Probably not going to make the cut. And Ismail Kofi, 69 to 93. We are, of course, in Greece looking for some homegrown talent. We've got Stefanos Kosti, 78 to 94. And Elias Kaya, 77 to 94. A decent overall, 6'4". 300 grand. Welcome to the academy. Uh, Kosti, we will just hold at the moment. All right, we're away here to the Orlando Pirates for a 2-1 victory. Right, I'm going to send out the youth team here against Oxford United. It's a 1-1 draw. Next we have Bremen. And we come back for a 2-1 victory. And it's time for another quick look at our youth squad. 
Um, we're going to clear out anything that isn't really going to make the cut. So uh, everyone's sort of doing okay. Radicanu's dropping off pretty quickly as is Becca. Uh, I'm not going to make any signings here this month, but uh, the academy is developing nicely. Well, I'm going to send the U team out here against Udinese at home, and it's a nil-nil draw. David gets himself injured in the 87. All right, we're back in Brazil for another scout report. Fernandes can go now, and Leonardo Castro will uh, sit here at 70 grand. Not a lot of talent coming back here at the moment from Brazil. Back in the Ivory Coast, Sissoko was still monitoring Kofi as well, and we've picked up Musa Fofana, uh, 62 to 86. Another short lad at five foot six. All right, we are here in Greece with Costi. We're still monitoring. Um, we've got some more lads in Igos, Senator Litas, uh, 75 to 94 at uh, 130 grand. Michalis, how do you say it? How's that I in Greek? Is it Zymus? I'm not sure, but 130 grand. And his brother, Soteris, is 240 grand. We're one to those lads. All right, we're away here to the Columbus crew. It's a 3-1 victory. Azevedo finding some goals. Right, first team's rolling out here against Zenit, who are currently leaders. We sit in second, Helsinki is in third. It's a 2-2 draw. Right, youth player wants out. I don't know why our manager rating is so long, but uh, Radovan Zupan wants a contract. And we are into the 1st of April, so let's see if there's anyone worth bringing in here. Dangbo, 85 to 91. We're still holding on to Cosmos U, 79 to 93. Uh, Morgan Roberts, we're waiting for this lad. I think he's going to be something special in the future. Uh, Nays 85 to 91, Kaya 78 to 94. Lamp back. Uh, yeah, let's get him in at 60. Uh, Radicanu has dropped off a bit more, but we probably need him in the future at this stage. Carvajal 88 to 94, Becker 81 to 87. Uh, Zupan 87 to 93, wanted a contract and uh, we are going to give it to him. And Gabriel Xavier, 81 to 87, has dropped away. I am going to release him. Right, we're away here against Cruz Azul, and we come back once again. The comeback masters, 2-1. Well, the reserves are going to roll out here against FC20. Wolf getting his debut, and well, he keeps a clean sheet. It's nil all. Well, it's the final month here in Brazil. There was no one to sign up except for possibly Leonardo Castro, but he's gone to FC Thune. And oh well, we'll move on. All right, final scout report here in the Ivory Coast. Uh, we're not going to take Sissoko. Kofi, no, we're going to reject him as well for Fana. 250, but five foot six, left hand side, potential of 83. No, not going to happen. We've got Wilfred Debate, 52 to 68, 80 to 94, 200 grand. Sure, welcome to our academy. All right, and the final one from Greece, Stefanos Kosti, 81 to 94, 475 grand. He's gone up in evaluation, so we'll bring him in. Uh, Centelides, 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 I don't know, 79 to 94, 150 grand. We'll bring him in anyway because he's got high potential. Um, 130, we missed out on his brother who was at 300, so we're going to let the brothers go. And Ari Theophanous, Theophanous? Oh, I don't know, but uh, that's a decent overall. Not the highest potential, but he is only 57. He could increase and at 675 evaluation. Okay, time to send our scouts out once again. We go to the comment section and we've got Dill650 who wants me to go to Paraguay for Physically Strong. Literally no one ever scouts there. 30 thumbs up. Well done, boys. We're off to Paraguay. Next one is from George Yunday. We're going to Serbia for any because Serbs and Greeks like each other. So why not? 23 thumbs up. And the final one is from Connor Foster, who wants Slovenia for any. It had 21 thumbs up. Don't forget to leave some more countries down below and smash the thumbs up on any countries you'd like to see scouted. We're away here against Firth with the first team. And it is a loss. We lose 1-0. Berwyn missed the penalty. All right, here we go against PSV. We are at home. It's a 1-0 victory. Berwyn manages to find a goal this time. Next up, we have Vitesse. We're away from home, but it's a 2-1 victory. Berwyn's really starting to fire up. Right, we're back in to a new month, so let's have a quick look at our Youth Academy. Uh, Stefanos Kosti, 83 to 94, 60 overall, could probably come in. Danbo's just hanging about, Cosmichu's doing all right. Robert's still not 16. Uh, Radicanu, I'm sorry, mate, but you've dropped right off. We're going to release you. Uh, Carvajal's okay. Uh, Thanalfos, no, sorry. Yeah, you're just not going to do what I need out of you, so we're going to release. Uh, Becker as well, probably not, but we will hold him because he's a striker. Debate and uh, Centildis. Centildis. Centidus. Oh. These names, these fucking names. He is 18. He's going to want a contract soon, but we'll hold for now. 
It's Olympiakos and Minnesota, and it's a 1-1 draw. Fortunus is injured. All right, scout reports are back. We're in Slovenia, and we've got a name that I do not know how to pronounce. How do you spell a J in Slovenia? We don't know if this lad's going to make it in anyway, but uh, I like to be up with the times with pronunciations. And uh, what are we going to go with Kral as the J signer? I don't know, but uh, let's go to the next report. Right, we are here in Serbia. We've got Radovan Stepanash. Stepanak, I don't know, 65 to 89. Ivan Trapalo, 71 to 94. And Savka Jerkin, what a great name. It's a shit potential, but I'll hold him there just for that name. Well, the pick of the crop here in Paraguay is a Billy Obello, uh, 65 to 89. But yeah, it was a pretty rubbish report, to be fair. We are at home to Sangu City. It's a 3 1 victory. All right, it is a Greek derby. It is Athens and Olympiakos. And we've sent out our youth team and we still come through with a 2-1 victory. Well, I think this might be the final game of the season. It's a 1-0 victory to Olympiakos. Youth player wants out in Humorano Dangbo. So 65 overall, 85 to 91. He's been in the academy for quite some time, the Cameroonian. Uh, we will offer him a senior team contract. I think Stefanos Kosti needs to come in as well. Uh, at 18. Cosmichu will just hold off for now and uh, well we've just brought in the left back so I think we might miss out on it. Centelidis. Centelidis. I don't know I'm just gonna murder his name anyway so uh, we'll see if he holds in the academy for a little bit longer. Back here in Slovenia it's Kral. He's a 75 to 94. I think his rating's gone up and Bosic at 69 to 93. We are in Serbia, and Stepanak still looking okay, 67-87. Samka Jerkin has dropped right off for his potential, but we're just keeping in there for his name. And uh, how do you say this guy's name? Stipe, Marich, 51-69, 79-94, 450 evaluation goalkeeper. Welcome to our academy. And we are, of course, here in Paraguay. Billy Obello, 65-85, probably not going to make the cut. Simon Diaz, 140. And Benito Arneas is at 2.10, but we'll monitor those lads further. So we come to the end of the season. Let's have a look at how our team is looking. Uh, Ludwig, 84, up 5. Wolf is a 69, up 3. Avushi, 76, we'll probably be looking to move him on. And I might actually look to move on most of the real players uh, moving into the next season as we start setting up. Uh, Lupo is a 62, up 2. Silva, 75, up 2. Larson, 74, up 11 with some heavy training. Uh, Leon 74, down two. He's going to Bremen, that's fine. Palace is a 66, up four. Uh, I have got him loan listed. We'll remove that now and see what his status is. He's an exciting prospect. Uh, Engels just injured himself in some sort of World Cup competition or Euros or some shit. Uh, and Cissé, 80, up two. Uh, Galano, 73, up two. Guedes is a 74, up eight with some uh, decent potential there. Uh, Kaya, 61, up one, an exciting prospect. Kutras is a 77. Uh, Fabio Perez, 64, up five. Let's remove him from the loan list. He is an exciting prospect. A lot of left backs here by the looks of things. Kazmarek, I have loan listed. We'll get him off that one as well. 71, up eight. I trained the shit out of him this season. Um, basically because he's showing great potential. These lads will, you know, you can see there Perez has gone up five just on his own and Kaya we've only just brought in. Uh, but Stefanos Kosti has the potential to be special. 61 up one. Tosidis is going to Celtic. Uh, Murillo, what have we got here? Removed from the loan list. Showing great potential, so I trained the crap out of him. We probably need another big central defensive midfielder, but the Portuguese man, 71 up nine. Azevedo, 78 up six. Mitchell is a 67 up five. What? Potential to be special. Decent from the Australian. Uh, Brent Thighs, loan listed. We'll remove him now. And he's shown great potential. 67 up 5. Mazua is loan listed. Let's remove him from the loan list. And he's an exciting prospect. 69 up 5. Dragic, 68 up 4. So a lot of right midfielders as well. Casino, 73 up 1. DeVitt, loan listed. 69 up 4. What is he? Potential to be special. Uh, Battle loan listed, 66 up 8. Removed from the loan list. Has the potential to be special. Uh, Conte 74 up 6. Morellis, his contract expiring. I'm going to let that one run out. Uh, Ostergaard, showing great potential, 67 up 2. Uh, then we've got Joel Morgan, 66 up 1. Another Australian. Uh, Vandermeer, 65 up 4. Loan listed. Let's remove that. And he's an exciting prospect. Fortunus is a 79. Probably just about done here. Um, well, I suppose you need to keep a couple of old heads around. 
Um, let's go. Aguila, 65 up 5. Let's remove him from the loan list. Showing great potential. So maybe we move him on. Selznev, 67 up 3. And Andraustus could probably be moved on now, even though he's only 24. Uh, Magellan, loan listed, 67 up 5. And he is potential to be special. Roll down, 73 up 6. Showing great potential. Zupan, an exciting prospect, 60 up 1. Uh, Fabio Rivera, 63 up six, an exciting prospect. And as for Rad, how long did he fucking go on loan for? We haven't seen him. 75. And uh, put some decent training in here to Steve, Aldo, Zambo, and Guiza. Um, 71 up seven. And Durdovic is 78. Uh, Dangbo, we've just brought in an exciting prospect. 66 up one. Lingfist in exciting prospect. 71 up four. Berwin is up to an 84 now. And that is the full squad. So, um, yeah. Let's wrap this uh, up. Let's go look at how we finished up and top scorers and all that other good stuff before we finish this season off. All right, let's do a couple of player upgrades. Let's get Zambo Aguiza upgraded. Uh, the striker, the Eto Regen. Lovely ponytail. If you want to make any changes to his kit or his number, uh, put it down in the comment section down below. I'm going to put a couple in this one. So if you are using the same number, it'll be whoever has the most thumbs up gets uh, that number selection. Um, so get in some comments. Lots of thumbs up on Zambo Aguisa. Um, our, it's probably our backup striker behind Roldan once uh, the rest of the real players move on. All right, let's give uh, Guedes an upgrade as well. The center back. Um, some interesting boots there. I'm not sure they're from the catalog. But uh, if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, I think he's a 73 or 74 over right, overall center back. Um, so we'll be making his way into the first team eventually. Um, yeah, put a comment down below. Obviously, the one with the most thumbs up gets the upgrade. And let's get on here for De Witt, the uh, Dutch midfielder. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, put a comment down below. Smash a thumbs up if you do like the comment. And obviously, the one with the most thumbs up gets the upgrade in a future episode. Well, as we do at the end of every season so far, let's have a look around the world and see if any of these German teams have done anything. Um, I'm going to be pretty quick with this one, but Union Berlin have taken the A-League. Um, you can always pause if you're trying to uh, see where your favourite team has gone. Berlin there in second uh, in the Belgian League. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Colombia, Denmark... Uh, England, Manchester City have taken the Premier League. They only lost one game all season. And uh, Mush and Gladbach, they're in ninth. Mine's in 14th. And Cologne will be getting relegated back to uh, the championship. Hamburg, though, will be coming up with 107 points. Freiburg, Nuremberg, uh, all the Bergs, Heidenheim there will be getting relegated by the looks of things. Grosbach is there finishing fourth. Anyone left in League 2? Doesn't look like it. Uh, in the French League, Augsburg there in 12th position. And Juventus have taken the Italian League once again. Uh, who else is floating around in here? Darmstadt there in 18th position. And Calcio B was taken by Palermo. Paderborn there in second. Japan, Korea, Hanover. On equal points there was Seoul. Mexico, okay. San Paoli there in uh, third place at the moment. The Netherlands there, Wolfsburg and Schalke, Norway, Poland, uh, Portugal, Guimaraes, okay. Ireland, Werder Bremen 2, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Scotland, well, it's the Rangers doing the job. And uh, Spain, it's Atletico Madrid over Real Madrid, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, and the USA, well, Dortmund. Look what the fuck Dortmund are doing over there in the MLS. Oh, that is that is painful for the rest of those English uh, American teams, should I say. All right, let's take a look at the top goal scorers. It was Adam Ilson Jr. for PSV with 20 goals. Uh, our top goal scorer was Berman with 13, Fortunus with 11, and Azevedo with 11. Uh, Edwards and Jury there with 9, Suleiman with 9 as well. So at least they've got some lads coming through. But uh, yeah, for them to sell their top three strikers off, uh, you wondered where their goals would come from. Assist-wise, it's Edwards with 8 for HOK Helsinki. Fortunus with 6 for Olympiacos. Vieira's in there with 6 for Helsinki. Um, Jury with 5. Azevedo with 5. Clean sheets. What have we got here? Ludwig with 8. Uh, Dragowski with 6. Rossi with 5. So they're sharing uh, the goalkeeping duties there at Helsinki. And the cards, no one really cares about. 
All right, let's finally finish this one off. Germany, Bundesliga. It is Barcelona by two points over Manchester United. Um, Liverpool in third. Bayern sit in sixth. It is Fulham, Legia Warsaw, and the Portland Timbers you'd feel getting relegated. I'm not sure if there's a playoff. We'll jump back to League 3. Tigris have won that one. Finally, they get out of the third division on 81 points. Millwall and uh, America there would be into the playoffs. The shittest team in this competition is the Finn Harps. Well, you thought I'd go to the Bundesliga 2 table, but no, we're going to go and quickly check on how the leagues went. Uh, Chelsea have won 1-0 over Liverpool in the Euro League. And the Champions League has been taken by Manchester City over Atletico 2-1. And um, yeah, that is all the big teams pretty much being involved in there, even though most of them are out uh, here in the Bundesliga. Well, relegation playoffs was between Parma and America for a 3-3 draw. Parma uh, stays up. And in the relegation match, HJK Helsinki have lost to Fulham and will not be partaking in the Bundesliga next season. That is fucked. The DFB Pakal has been taken by Manchester United. Helsinki made it through to the round of 16. And finally, in the Bundesliga 2, we have smashed it. We finished on top of the table with 73 points. You can see there, Helsinki selling off their strikers. Uh, well, they've only missed out by a point, but then they've lost to Fulham in the playoffs. So they won't be coming up to the Bundesliga. Um, so what I want to do is uh, obviously we are going to be in the Bundesliga next season. Do you want another simulation season? Um, to see if Helsinki can get promoted before we start playing games. Uh, let me know. I'll put a little bit of a vote up here in the eye. Make sure you vote um, because I'll be recording again in another day's time. And I need to know if we're going to be starting to play games because we're in the Bundesliga um, or whether we should simulate and, and hope that Helsinki can uh, step up and move into the Bundesliga before we actually start playing the game. So get voting up in that eye and uh, let me know what you want to happen with this career mode. But that is uh, it. Yes, that is it. That is where we will finish up today. Uh, so we will be into the Bundesliga next season. We have finished on top. Um, so it's really up to you guys. Do you want to start seeing gameplay uh, with the youth players and stuff uh, and sell off all the real players? Or do you want to see another simulation season, um, see where we finish against the big boys and hopefully Helsinki can pull their finger out and move themselves up to the Bundesliga? I really, they really should have taken down Fulham, but uh, they've lost. So they're stuck here in Bundesliga 2 for another season. Get voting. It's the only way this career mode is going to move forward. And we will see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.